Looking for fish in caves works as life did for Forrest Gump. It's like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get. This time we we're lucky enough to find a super rare animal. Wanna know what did we find? Stay tuned. After showing up to a decent day, my cousin Hako and I started seeing how the weather was turning tougher and tougher while we were getting in the water. But that didn't stop us, our will to have some fun diving was far too big after some weeks of not diving due to the weather. The wind was blowing and the rain pouring much harder than we would like to, so we decided to have a chill day and dive very close in shallow water. After seeing how the day was going, I decided to try some little ambushes, hoping to be lucky enough to come across something worth it. But you have to remember how much I suck at it, so not much happened. Moreover, this beach is definitely not known for its big predators. Actually, pretty much the opposite. When I realized that, I figured out that it was probably a much better idea to move to caves and look for more interesting targets there. However, caves weren't very rewarding either, all I could find were empty caves. Not even a small grass there, which was a very surprising lack of fish, until eventually everything changed. On one of the dives, something caught my eye, a very special kind of claw that I had only seen before in seafood restaurant fish bowls. It was a lobster, but not your average lobster that you would find on Australia or America or whatever. This is an European lobster, which, despite not being in any danger, they are very rare to find, especially in such shallow waters. Where I live, in Galicia, we are lucky enough to have the demographical and natural conditions for super nutrient-rich waters, which makes its fish and seafood of immense quality. If you were to order that same lobster in any restaurant, as fresh as that, expect to spend over 100 bucks for it. Pretty crazy encounter that both of us won't forget in a while. But that wasn't the end of the day for us. When we were starting to think about going out, we found a cuttlefish, which always makes up for a very tasty meal, so we didn't doubt it for a second and secured the catch we were living. After the cuttlefish, we decided that it was enough, so we called it a day and started loading the float. And that was it for today. Even though it wasn't the most successful day in terms of fish, we did have a super time because having witnessed such an encounter was a pretty special thing for us as it was our first time. And it's also a quite rare thing that you don't get to witness every time, especially while, while free diving. So super cool thing to see. If you did enjoy the video as well, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because many more journeys are coming. See you in the next one.